Well, hello, all my fluid art friends. I saw some people already in the chat, so I didn't want to keep you all waiting long. So I decided I was trying to get my resin mixed before I turned on the uh, camera, but come on. Okay, there we go. And an ad. Why are they making me watch an ad on my own video? Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay. And hello, Melissa, and hello, Cheryl, and hello, Dina. And hello, Kim. Nice to see everybody here. You know, I took the picture of the stuff to make the thumbnail, and then I changed my mind. Well, I'm doing the white, but I'm going to do a little bit of purple in a piping bag, too. So, because I've got uh, purple, purple leafing paper here. And hello, Chris. Nice to see you. So, I'm mixing up my resin while I'm talking. I don't want to waste everybody's time. House school. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Poor, poor Chris is um, um, being a teacher. I bet that is funsies, huh? <laughs> well, you and Brooke can... can, can console each other because you're both being teachers and you don't want to be. So, I mixed up 12 ounces. Now, I do not know if it's going to need, well, these are pretty big. These are these are those six inch ones. Because I couldn't find my, uh, well, they're geode shaped, really. Not They're not meant for, um, for uh, resin flowers, but I'm and I'm going back to piping bags because it is so hard to do the stick to get the resin in there. Oh, still got little stringies. Third grade is horrible. Yeah, I remember third grade myself. Unfortunately, <laughs> that was about the time that I started hating school was third grade because the subjects got harder or at least in my eyes they did um i'm also thinking of going live tomorrow night to pop these little babies out because i want to do another layer but i saw another on another channel today uh, it was a video from about five months ago. She popped them out, did another layer, and then turned turned the original piece upside down and put it over it. So I'm gonna go. Oh, hey, hi Tish, the lady that rocks the headphones. We miss you. I'm gonna go live tomorrow night too, Tish. Okay, first thing I got to do is I got to put a little bit of resin in here. I've got um, purple leafing paper in there that if you want to call it. I don't I guess that's what you call it. Don't need a whole lot of resin in there. I'm just trying to make it into a little bit of a paste. Yep, because it seems that when you put this, the glitter or whatever you're using in your center, um, if you put it, okay, I need another stick because I know this is not going to come off of there easy. If you um, put it in your center before you pour your clear resin in there, It seems to stay one spot, and I think I made too much. Oh. So, 
I love how this leafing paper, um, oh, hello, Angela. Yes, I'm live tonight, and I think I'm going to be live tomorrow night, too, because I have another little thing I want to test with these, um, to, um, to, um, um, take them out and, uh, put some res, then put more resin in a color layer and then turn them upside down in the thing. And that looks like, let me see, I don't want to, I don't want to overload it. Ah, I dripped. Okay, I dripped. Well, fooey. Um, let's see if I can wipe it off with my glove. Okay. Now, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, resin in here. And hello, Julie. And hello, Evelyn. And I have to put pick my glasses up a little bit I want to thank you guys who support me I love seeing all those little badges in there I need to make some clearer badges I'm not too happy with the way the badges look in the chat okay now I don't need a whole lot of for the colors because I'm gonna be doing two colors because I changed my mind after I took the picture um, of the um of the resin that I'm gonna um that I'm gonna be um um the colors I was gonna use I decided to add some purple micas try and make sure that that doesn't move and it's starting to float already it's starting to float away I think I got too much resin in there. Oh, everybody. Yeah, everybody's saying hi to Tish. I know everybody misses you, girl. Me too. But you got to do what you got to do with real life. Uh, this is just, <laughs> this is just migrated way over here. And this is trying to, I've got my purple gold leaf is migrating all over the place. Oh, yeah, of course you want to get it done. But remember, you need sleep. Okay. I may have made too much resin. I don't know. Oh, well. Do I got enough in each of these cups? Well... Let me add a little bit more into each cup, too. Look at, look at that. It's migrating. Ah. Oh, I want to. Okay, so lesson learned right there. Gold leaf or leafing paper. Uh, tell that to your brain. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me move this. This is the other. This is the purple. And then, like the thumbnail showed, this is the white. I do not know if micas are going to go down into the, uh, into the, um, um, you know, float down like the pigment does. I don't know. So, we're going to find out together. And then I'm going to go live tomorrow night to pop them out. And then I'm going to do a layer of uh, a, a solid color with some with a bunch of glitter in it. And then I'm going to put these little babies back on top of it. 
I was doing an, another, a real big one um, earlier. And it had color in it too. Um, except I used alcohol ink. Okay. I got my piping bag in a cup. I hope this this is probably going to be very very dark. I've been following a lot of these uh, videos on um, on you know of different people. Um, besides Julie Cutts doing them, I've seen um, seen um, quite a few people doing them. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me take this out. Put that back there so it doesn't roll onto my table that happened to me earlier not that I know that from experience okay just looking to make sure I'm not missing any questions okay there we go let me put him down for now. Stay! Jeez. Won't listen to me. And hello, Jeff! Hail, fellow squirrel. You didn't miss much. Um, I've been mixing the colors together. I haven't um, put, I just put the glitter, uh, not glitter, uh, what do you, um, go, uh, pr leafing paper in there. And hello, Lorraine! Nice to see you. I haven't seen you for a while. Hope you've been doing okay. Did anybody get a chance to watch that little one minute video I put up earlier today and tell me what you think about it? Tell me tell me if you if you like these little short ones or if you would rather skip them. <laughs> Tell me, you know, those of you that have watched it, tell me what you think. Should I not do not do them anymore or or what? Okay, I've got some more in here. Let me see if I can put a little bit more in here to try to weight down what's trying to migrate. Of course, the sparkly stuff doesn't want to listen to me. Well, I'm not going to put any more in there. Okay. Taking my bag out of the cup. Uh, before I start piping, I will get rid of bubbles real quick. I'll have more bubbles anyway. Okay, let me just set that little guy right there. And, oh, you like the longer ones. Okay, well, I ended up losing the footage from, um, from that whole video. So I just took what I had from the other camera and made it into a one minute so everybody could see it. Cause that one, that one was kind of funny. That one was the, uh, that one was the uh, um, flying canvas. No, my overhead didn't work, and I decided to try a different, um, a different camera. Okay, got it all the way down into the tip. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Got it all the way down into the tip, and. What did I do with my scissors? Oh, I bet you they're under. Yep, there they are. They were under a towel over by my computer. Okay. I'm only cutting off just a little tip. But I don't want to do it over that. Because 
it will probably fall in the resin, knowing my luck. Okay, let me make sure. Yep, there we go. And I'm just going to pipe out some flowers. But I'm going to put a little bit of purple in here. So I'm making some room to put some purple in the petals and then to make some uh, purple petals on the outside. Oh, I ended up with six over here. Oh, well. Not going to hurt anything. So they're not going to match. I don't like matchy-matchy anyway. Right, Tish? Okay. Don't know if I'm going to need to go over. Oh! Stay safe, Tish. I take it she's... I take it she's leaving. I didn't see that comment. Okay. Now... I'm going to do a roll, row of purple petals, but I'm kind of overlapping the middle of the white ones. So don't forget, tomorrow night... Wednesday, we can all hang out again, and greetings, Trey, nice to see you, okay, I'm going to put, now, the, I'm, people are going to think this is weird, but I've been putting, putting, you know, some, some coloring in the petals to see how it how it looks when it falls okay because whatever I've got left in my bag when I'm done with the petals will go around the edge okay let me put some of the white now in here looking to see who Oh yeah, Dabo. I don't have the I don't have the uh, the um, the thing that he the the clip that he does. Okay, now I'm gonna put go over these again. Do not think that this is weird, but. I'm just getting tired of seeing all these flowers that look alike, so I'm trying to do different ones. This does take some concentration because you got to keep you got to keep your 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 hand on there. Okay, let me do a white outline around this purple. Ah, it's starting to get towards the bottom. No, nope, now it's now it's coming out too fast. I don't know why. Okay, let me stand up and look. See if I need any more white in a couple places. Those look a little thin. Let's fatten them up. Okay, now I'm going to do some more purple questions. Oh! 
I have them on my am uh, on my Amazon associate account. Um, if you go down into the description, there is a link to them. They are six. They're called cake molds. Um, they're down in the uh, description. And hello, Sam. How are you? Okay, let me do a little bit more purple around these petals. Oh, I'm running out. I may not have enough women. If you don't have it twisted tight enough. There we go. And now I'm going to go around this one. See, I don't want to do the the same flower shapes that everybody else does. Okay. Now, I'm just going to kind of do a squiggly line with what I got left around the outside. This way I don't waste any resin. And I used it all up. And I got a little bit of white left, so let me just let me just do a little bit around there. Now I'm going to heat it up Thank you, Cheryl. And let me see. Let's see if I missed anybody. Okay. Just checking to see if I missed anybody. Now I'm going over it to pop the bubbles. It's all going to gravitate towards the center, so I'm trying to push it out to the edge. There must be something underneath this tray. It's gravitating the wrong way. Okay. These are definitely going to look softer and wispier than the ones that get done with casting craft. Yep, yep, that they would, but I never buy molds for that. Um, now, one thing, I did this on one earlier. I'm going to draw out from the center. Don't, when you do this, don't go all the way to the bottom. Do it through the top where the colors are at, because you don't want to scratch your resin. I'm just very carefully pushing some of the resin that way. Okay. This one is the oddball. It's got six petals instead of five, so I got to do all six. I'm hoping, that's why I'm planning on doing another layer tomorrow night, because this is not going to be that dark. Okay, I do want to show you guys the one that I did uh, earlier. This one is a big one. This one right here. 
it has pink in it, it has Prussian blue, and it has some um, of the acrylic ink in it. This is one, this is the biggest of the three of the, um, oh, the three-tier cupcake thingy that they make. The molds where you could get the hardware and you can put these together. And this one's going to get another layer too. And this one. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. This one right here. I started as a regular flower shape, but then I added dots in the middle, and I put pink, and then I put blue around the edge, and I don't know if you can see it or not, where the where the hole goes. Um, I'm thinking of making this into a clock. Oh, you got a lot of time on your hands. Thank you, Evelyn. Anyway, this one's an upcoming video because I'm going to do another layer and then I'm going to show how I make it into a clock. Because I'm sorry, I, I just don't see people using those cupcake tears a lot. Okay. Now, this little guy is going to sit overnight. Um, and... I will do, I will pop them out. At, I will be live at 6 o'clock tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, let me see. Thank you, Melissa. Uh, thank you, Samantha. Thank you, Jeff. Um, so I'm going to be live tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. I got resin left. I don't know what to do with it. I don't have any molds handy. <laughs> Oh, well, um, I have some hearts over here, but I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, put anything in, in any more of those hearts. Um, so that's an upcoming video. These, I will pop them out tomorrow night. I don't know what they're going to look like, how much it's going to change between now and tomorrow. Um, because I don't know if the mic is going to fall or not. You know, that's the whole idea about the casting craft is it falls through and gives you the wispiness. Yeah, I just, I, I don't want to do that either. You know, I got some resin in here too. It's just the KS resin. It's a lot cheaper than the art coat. Um... I don't even have anything around here to coat because I've been doing so much. Nah, I'll just pour it out. Uh, so set your count, set your t uh, reminders, Dina and everybody, because Dina's Dina's has to set reminders. I hope it doesn't change much. I'm really liking the shape on this. But tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, I know this wasn't that long of a live, I apologize, but there's not much to do with these. So that's why I'm going to go live tomorrow night for about a half hour or so. Um, all I'm going to do is pop them out, show you what it looks like, and then I'm going to put a, another layer of resin in there. And then I'm hoping that I can turn it over and then I'm hoping I can fit it back in there. That's the $64 question. Okay. And yes, that was an actual, that was a game show, I think, wasn't it? Let me see if I can get just a little bit more of this in the middle now that it's set up a little bit more. Because this middle is looking a little small. So I will see everybody tomorrow night. 6 p.m., same time as tonight, um, and I do want to thank you guys for coming out. Um, I will try to set up the, um, set up the live, um, later, and I'll put it on my community tab, so that way you can find the link tonight, um, for the live, and Cheryl, 
did your um did your page ever fix or I didn't I didn't know if, if it fixed or not. You know, um, cause um. Oh, hello, Darth. Hail, Darth. I didn't see you here. Okay, tell, tell me real quick, Cheryl, or text me. Tell me if your page fixed, because I want to let everybody go. Um, we'll see what these look like tomorrow night when they come out of the mold, and we'll do the other layer. And then I might even go... Ah, oh, I kind of figured it would fix once you got the, um, once we became live. So, join me tomorrow night, and I appreciate all of you. Thank you all for coming out. I love the support. I love the views. I love the comments. I, I love interacting with everybody. You know, I just love talking to everybody. So, I will, um, so I will let you guys go, and you all have a great evening, and... I love the resin right out of you. <laughs> I haven't said that in a while, have I? Um, so all I can say is, bye for now. Six o'clock tomorrow night.